Good morning, everyone. It's currently 55 degrees. Nice cool morning, dry morning. The sun is rising already. It's five o'clock in the morning. Still use my clear shield. We got a clear and a tinted shield, visor, whatever you want to call it. I almost never use the clear one, but once I started using it, amazing how big of a difference it was. It's almost like there's nothing on my eyes at all. It's so clear and so bright. So I was like, duh, why aren't I using that? It's a little chilly though, my hands are cold already. Should have maybe wore some bigger gloves, but it's all right, it's a short ride, right? This week is a pretty big week for me, working during the days, normal hours, but then we have our vacation Bible school, which is at night for five days. So I'll be working at night too. Not really sure how I'm gonna do my schedule. Completely, mostly normal. There'll just be a lot of night riding afterwards. Since that's how it's gonna affect you. I'm all alone. Nobody's here. Come on, light. Can you see me? Can you see me? Let's move forward a bit. Thank you. I feel like this happens every time. This light's green when I'm coming up to it, and it turns red, and then I sit here forever. I'm probably just gonna go, because it never changes. Sorry. Okay, I feel really high for some reason, but I don't know. Oh, it's hot. 76 degrees. I'm hungry and shaky. Hello, son. Did you get your Bluetooth to work? Okay, yeah, got it. Everything's ready. Okay. Our three morning services are over for today. And tonight we have Vacation Bible School, which is the first night. And it gets a little crazy because we got games and skits and crafts and multi rooms and music and smoke machines and lasers. And the first night's always the roughest because you're trying to get things working. And then the second day you fix some things. And by the third day you got to figure it out. So I'm headed home to eat lunch and head right back. It's a beautiful day. It's 76 degrees. Um, I'm a little shaky. I, all I had was some, some donut holes and coffee. That's all I've had all day, so I'm a little jittery. But uh, got to keep her under control. How the image stabilization handle that? That's my wife in front of me. She she takes the church van, so we can. Oh, look, two motorcycles. Very nice. Um, she takes the church van, so we can pick up all the kids in the neighborhood that are going with us. Bringing kids from about five different families this year, so. Well, dead squirrel. I had fun with my uh, DJI action camera. DJI Osmo action camera. DJI OAC, not AOC, OAC. Uh, <laughs> that, was a, that was a joke. We're gonna be using that for Vacation Bible School this week. I just used it for a few days, testing things out see how it worked. I really would have liked to mount it to my helmet, then I don't have a microphone. And I thought about putting it on my right side, but then I wouldn't have my Osmo pocket with my stabilization. I don't know. I just, maybe I should try it one day. Just, I'm feeling like a little busy right now, but one day I'll switch the mounts, put it on the right side, test it out as a helmet cam, give a nice review of that. Um, so far I've really liked it um, on my handlebars. It's wider than the GoPro Hero 3, which is what I'm using right now at 1080p 30 frames. Um, I ran it at 1080p 60 frames because I didn't have a card fast enough for 4K, but I don't really think I need 4K this close. It just takes up more space, so. Plus I like the crop and all that kind of stuff, so. Um, anyways, that's illegal. Wow. That is dangerous and illegal. I heard someone else, another vlogger, moto vlogger, Walterific, he says he doesn't like the stabilization on the helmet cam, 
Uh, just because he moves his head around a lot, it doesn't feel realistic, which I get. You're going 60 frames per second on a helmet cam, wide angle. I think I think it keeps up well enough. I think I agree. I, I guess I'll have to see. I mean, obviously I'm using stabilization on my camera on the right side, but that's mostly for close-up, not wide angle. So I do want that stabilized on purpose so I can zoom in on things and, and all that. But I still think that's probably my next purchase. I really like the um, voice commands, being able to tell it to start, stop recording, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Switching the screen around, being able to see myself, that's pretty cool. I can't really think of what else I would have an issue with be the microphone adapter i mean i really like the microphone adapter i have right now the right angle usb connection instead of having that adapter for the gopro or just a straight out adapter so we'll see if they make some kind of a nice adapter uh, i don't like when there's sand on them dirty I'm trying to stop well there's there's a way they haven't seen before he stayed on the handlebars he used his fingers just brought some fingers off this is going to be a little difficult to get out. I don't know if my wife knows that or not, but we're going to PetSmart to get some crickets for our lizards. Well, I guess they're all amphibians. We don't have any lizards right now, but a tree frog and three tree frogs, a toad, and a leopard frog. This road's pretty difficult to get out on. Wouldn't it be sweet if my cameras had GPS? and they could tell where they were being recorded and I could pull up all of my video based on GPS and then I could say all the things that happened in this location. So if like, you know, right here is where I saw my motorcycle instructor and right here is where a lady almost ran over me and you know, stuff like that. I think I'm gonna go halfway out. As long as nobody's turning, I'm gonna go halfway out. because this gets a little shady right here. I was on a hard there, baby. Good thing it's warm and the tires are warm. Uh, itchy nose, I got some pollen or something. You know that fuzzy cotton stuff that comes off the trees? I feel like that's just everywhere right now. That's a, that's a shiny semi. It's a nice grill guard and ooh, chromed out. Semis don't usually catch my eye, but my wifey up there in the big van. I went past her the other day right here. And she was like, you blew my eardrums out. I was like, sorry. There she is. Oh, look at this truck, it's got the back window out. I missed my avalanche, it used to do that. You can take the back window out. Oh, so can the Toyota Tundras, do they, does it pop out or does it roll down? I missed that. I missed that. My avalanche, the window down. Oh, this is just gonna be fun. All this traffic. Let's go this way. It looks like it's gonna be faster. I love waving at little kids. I love it. They can't see me smiling, but I'm smiling with my blinker on. Smiling with my blinker on. Lots and lots of people. Lots and lots of people. My wife's probably gonna beat me there. This probably wasn't the best idea. Just cruise until I see somebody. Nice Subaru. Woo. Well, I beat them here. I was looking for the Suburban, but I forgot they're driving the, driving the beast mode. Let's go right here next to this beast. Look at that. I'd race it. I sure would. Let's just get back here in the shade. Boost loading. Please wait. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What is it? Just a just looks like a little hatchback, but I don't know. I don't know about cars anymore. I'm not a used to be a car dealer, and I haven't done that for a long time. My why is my Wi-Fi on on the side of this thing? Okay, I turned the Wi-Fi off. I don't know why I need the Wi-Fi on. Bluetooth, whatever it is. All right, let's take a look at this thing. 
It is a Ford Focus ST with a carbon fiber hood. It says boost loading, please wait. I probably shouldn't leave my GoPro out here, should I? Let's take the GoPro with. Let's take off the helmet. Let's stop the video recording. Oh, I didn't raise it up. One, two, three, four, six, seven, twelve, thirteen. That's enough to get home. Scrape. Let's go up a little more. I don't like scrapey. So beautiful! Seventy-seven, seventy-seven, seventy-seven. Got a couple bikes. What do we have here? Cross rockets? I believe so. Sub guys. Well, this is a little kind of cruiser bike, a little guy. I do want to find me another kind of, I don't know what. I want a bike that I can have that's kind of more rain worthy. It would be like a rain bike. So I want it to have like decent tires, not really looking for like crazy cornering. I don't want a dirt bike though. I want like one of those, uh, what are they called? Help, I don't know what it's called. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Not a Sportster. That was not a stop. I'm a little distracted by the sweet car next to me. And I can't remember what it's called, but it looks like this and it's cool. It's kind of like an old bike look. I want something with like beefy tires, traction like tires, not like beefy like my wide tire, like a beefy like. But anyways, I want something to ride in the rain. And then when this one is getting like worked on or I want to tear it apart and do something to it, I don't have to worry about not having a bike not being able to moto vlog. And I wanna have a couple different styles. Like I like this chrome and black and like muscle bike look, but I also want like a blacked out, maybe like a flat black looking kind of bike with some, with some hints of red, but mostly black, flat black. There is some missing bricks up here. So you gotta watch for that. Right there, missing bricks. Oh, there's some right there too. Wow. So this is gonna be more possible. We should do that. Let's next time we're gonna do a whole like thought process on while I'm driving. Like every thought. Can you handle that? That's a lot of thinking. I think a lot when I'm riding. Making sure my clutch doesn't do that on me. Stupid. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Huh? Yep, I gotta get the oil checked. It just costs like $200 to have them change the oil. Why? I don't know. So I gotta figure out how to do it myself. What the oil cost or the... The oil costs a little bit, yeah, but you have to have a stand that holds the bike up and you gotta have a filter and you gotta have the tools and I'm just gonna buy them all myself. You may get off the motorcycle now. Oh yeah, and then you can do it every time. Yep. And you could do other people. Pay off your nope, nobody, nobody has the same bike as me though. Uh, I only seen one person that has the same bike and he owns so the fuzzies. So how can they change your oil? You'd have to get a new tool every time. Oh, this, this, the motorcycle place has the tools because it's a Suzuki dealership. They sell Suzuki bikes. So they have all the stuff. So they have a different tool for each bike? Um. No, like a motorcycle stand will work on multiple bikes. I just don't know what else the bike needs to have its oil change. I've never done it, so I don't know if it's like certain tools or... Does this move? Nope. But that one does? Yep. Can I do it? Uh, sure. I think so. So is it, do you pull back or go forward? Back. And only a little tiny bit makes it go really fast because it doesn't go that far back. Yeah, it doesn't take much. 
This is Denver's first night ride, so we're gonna go for a nice little chill ride. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold. Didn't even think about that. So first successful night of vacation Bible school. Just leaving, it's 920 and it's uh, 65 degrees. There we go. My left ear is like folded over. It's a weird feeling when you put your helmet on, your ears flipped over. 